Welcome everybody, this is John Burra from MammothInteractive.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what scalable vector graphics are in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to talk a little bit about why we use scalable vector graphics and why the flat design is becoming a little bit more prominent in web design. Right? So first things first, you need Adobe Illustrator and you can open it up and I, as you can see I have a nice small mountain scene right here. It's a, it's a nice small flat design uh, scene here and you can see it's really simple. It didn't take very long to make but it will show you what's going on. So first things first, scalable vector graphics are graphics which you can scale uh, to whatever you want. Now when you make something in Adobe Illustrator it is something called resolution independent. All of the lines here are drawn within the computer and what resolution independence means is that in Adobe Illustrator since they are computer uh, generated lines you can scale this image up to the size of a skyscraper or you can uh, scale it down to uh, the size of a nickel and there is no loss of resolution. This is of course in contrast to uh, something in Photoshop where if you took a picture of some mountains and if you scaled it up to a skyscraper it would be um, it would be blurred, it would be distorted and if you uh, shrunk it down it would be compressed. So one thing uh, that scalable vector graphics do is that once you, since they're computer drawn you can actually export the code. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a quick second here. And once you uh, export the code um, you can go and play around with it and that's why uh, in HTML5, uh, these scalable vector graphics are actually used quite a bit. And it's really neat because you can take this image and you can play around with it in the code and do whatever you want with it. All right? And the reason why uh, this flat design has been coming into uh, to prominence here is that you can do th that exact thing. Because again, HTML5, the whole point of HTML5 is so that you can use um, whatever you want uh, on any device. So you can have a website on, you know, your, your iPhone, your iPad, uh, your computer, uh, you know, a projector, uh, whatever, whatever size you want is going to work. So uh, scalable vector graphics work quite well, um, quite well with HTML5 and uh, its philosophy. The last thing is that flat design is also really easy to do and uh, it's actually really easy to do within Adobe Illustrator. All right? So let's go ahead and let's go and uh, export this here. So what you need to do is you need to go to File and then you need to go to uh, Save As. Okay? And as you can see I have a whole bunch of here and what you want to do is you want to go all the way to SVG here and there's also SVG compressed but let's just go to SVG and um, you can just go ahead and you can push Save. Uh, just like this here, and I'm just gonna. And as you can see, I've already have have a couple there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go save like this, and then what should happen here is that this SVG option should come up. Now, what's really cool about these SVG options here is that you can actually see um, you can see the code here. So if I if you click on SVG code, and you can see that it comes up into this huge uh, in this huge window here, and I'm just gonna resize this. Uh, just to make sure that we can see this uh, within the window here because I make these videos so that everyone on any uh, resolution can see them here. And this, all this code in here, and this looks like a lot of, lot of code, but this, all of this code here is, uh, is this image here. Okay, so that image that you saw of the nice mountains is this code. And what you can do is all you have to do is copy and paste this into your website and you can play around with this here. So if you've taken any of my coding classes, you can know that you can change this value here to whatever you want. And it's really, uh, it's really exciting to see what's going to happen with HTML5 uh, and HTML5 games and vector graphics because it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. All right? So if you want, you can go uh, back here and you you can just push OK and it will save your uh, SVG uh, document. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial, which will talk a little bit about how to um, how to implement this within the code. You can go to mammothinteractive.com, like us on Facebook uh, and Twitter, and you can get all of the updates there. Again, there's a lot of free tutorials on mammothinteractive.com. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.